no matter what you know, it's changing from week to week, from month to month. And so really it's better for an interactive approach, like Gerardo and I have been working together and I come to him and say, what do you think, what do you hear, what should we do? And he does the same thing, and oh, this happened here, and we're starting to see certain trends. But even with the people that are really um, doing it all the time, I went to a two-day seminar about two or three weeks ago, and they've been in the foreclosure industry back in the, you know, the 80s and 90s, and they're saying, even though they've seen this type of market before, it's still different than it was in the 80s and 90s. There's factors that are way different now, and so they're learning from week to week and month to month. They start these blogs so that everyone can, uh, you know, try to stay up to date. A lot of things are happening. Um, Sean gave me an article <clears throat> recently that is saying, you know, did you see that one? Yeah. You know, that even legislation is, you know, are we going to do a bailout? Or are we going to at least stop 1099-ing these <laughs> poor homeowners? Which is, please, you know, after they've lost everything, they get a 1099, it just, you know, doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I can see for investors that, for people who are just working the system, you know, they probably deserve it. But, you know, a lot of these people are just homeowners that, you know, made the shot at homeownership, couldn't, couldn't handle it. But then, what, 80% did? So 20% of subprime is going bad, so 80% is not, though. So 80% of the people who wouldn't other have, otherwise have a chance at home ownership are getting that chance, and they're, and they're like, yes, you know? So it's not all bad, it's just the way that you look at it. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of um, statistics uh, that you can look at, a lot of different sources that are showing that foreclosures, and uh, most of those being, um, short sales or upside down properties is, is really high now and increasing in quantum ways now and most people still think we're at the beginning of uh, the tip of the iceberg. And then especially as all these option arms reset this year and next year, are you going after people who their, their loans are going to reset and try to refi them? They are. Okay. We have reports that are coming out quarterly just letting us know when they're coming due and trying to get them into something. And how, how successful are you are statistically in, in refinancing them before they, their loan resets and their payments go Ooh, pretty successful. Most yeah. of the time? Yeah, I would say maybe about 70%. Okay, capture. what happens to the 30%? Um, either sales, other things are going on um, where they're not concerned. It could be investment properties where they like the type of payment they're in and have other plans for the property. Mm -hmm. So a number of different things are going on with that 30%. Are you seeing anything where the people are, are going to basically be in foreclosure are you? Yeah. If, they, if they either can't refinance or that when that resets? Yeah. If the, what we're capturing is people heading in that direction, so they're making the change. And that, that's why we're, we're targeting them. But there's some, a lot of people that are, have already gone beyond that and have already started um, notice of defaults and things of that sort. So it's just hard to really tap into that because there's a whole different department for that that mm -hmm. follows it, foreclosure departments. So they don't really give us that insight. But when we get the phone calls coming in, and we're, we're calling also out of our office twice, twice a week, two hours a day in the evenings, and capturing whatever we can with that business. And what are you doing with the people who you try to remind them and you can't, you know that in two months when their loans recess that they're not going to be able to make their payment, what are you doing in those weeks? Well, the great thing is I have you all here too. To right. So that's the ideal them. kind of thing because it's, uh, that's one thing that's also been suggested to people who are following foreclosures and doing short sales and all of that is that we get those leads of those people in those option arms and, and market to them. Um, so please, in, Everyone just sort of pitch in because, like I said, it's it's everybody. Um, Don, I hear, I read yesterday or the day before yesterday in an article where somebody said that there were going to be two million homes in foreclosure in the next two years. I mean, two million homes. There's only about six million homes that sell in any given year in the United States. Is this real? That almost one third of all the homes. What in California? No, no, no. This is nationwide. Nash yeah. Well, you know, although I'm very optimistic um, about life in general, I think that I tend to um, buy into that we can be into the, the, the home prices across the board will fall um, for the first time since, what, the Great Depression? Right? <laughs> it's a great okay. But, I mean, I look at all sorts of different newsletters and different things like that, and the thing that makes sense to me is we're in for a lot bigger surprise than anyone's let us um, 
To believe. To believe, but that doesn't mean it's a, a bad thing necessarily. I think you just have to look at it realistically. Now, when when Lyria got released from NAR, I told you this already. You know, he's been like sugarcoating the whole real estate industry since last since the winter time, really. You know, it's like, oh well, it's bad weather. It's bad weather. Then he he leaves the NAR and he goes. Uh, just kidding, we're in for a major recession. <laughs> you know, once he's not, you know, a part of the organization and having to, you know, keep realtors alive and happy and all that. So, um, I think that, that it's going to get um, really, really interesting. In fact, this morning I met with a lady who's been in real estate, this is out in Corona, so she's, she's out in uh, her specialty is Inland Empire, Riverside and San Bernardino counties. She's been a broker since the early 80s. She's done notes. She made a, she made a fortune in notes, lost it, you know, keeps marrying these stupid guys, right? <laughs> and so keeps losing her money. Um, she's, and then she, she went through a foreclosure time and, and um, she's done subdivisions, she's done everything. And what she, she's seeing, of course, the next trend is, is the foreclosure market and the short sale market. However, She's saying, you know, Don, you're lucky there in LA County where you are. Out here in Riverside and San Bernardino counties, it is sliding fast. It is sliding fast. She says, I, I, I list my short sale listings at 30% below market and I cannot get an offer. And if I did, the bank would probably say no right now anyway because it's so much below. So there, I mean, even on the stuff that was Pomona, like I'm working with Anna, and I'm looking at, uh, yeah, and Sean, the, those two that are in Pomona, it's not that far out, right? I mean, you guys live in Claremont, you're still in part of civilization. <laughs> but you look at, I'm doing these comps, I'm doing these comps to, um, to try to make this marketing history for the lender because, you know, I've tried to talk to the BPO now, the guys doing the appraisal, and um, so hopefully I'm getting them on board and creating, you know, camaraderie there, but when I'm putting together my numbers, I'm looking at going, look, Mr. Uh, Washington Mutual, Mr. New Century, you see, and, and here's my comps, and I'm going to have, this is like this, 12, and this is when it's a tight little area, very close comp, 12 actives, most of them have been on the market for 30 to 180 days, and then I've got maybe one pending, and maybe one or two closed, and about eight expires. So you want to look at the comps. 12 plus 8 is 20 that that aren't in the pending or closed. Category. Still, like like um, that condo. Nothing has closed in the last four months. The last closing of any comp 